Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. All right, so as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing a mascara first impressions on the Lancome Hypnus Drama Mascara. And this is the, hopefully I bought the waterproof. Did I buy the waterproof? Oh crap. Hold on one second. Fingers crossed this is the waterproof. I'm pretty sure I bought the waterproof version. <laughs> I really hope so. I'm going to be really sad. But it's fine. It's just a little, this little travel baby right here. I don't see waterproof anywhere, but hopefully I bought the waterproof version. <laughs> Fingers crossed, because I really need to have already left by now. But it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Um, Lashes really do make a difference, though. I mean, look at that. <laughs> My eyes just look tiny. Little, little, little tiny babies. Hopefully there's not any fuzzies. All right, I'm already getting annoyed with myself in this video, so I apologize if I'm annoying anyone right now. But, oh my gosh. I'm hiding out on my chest. Oh no. I don't know if you can tell. Hopefully you can. All right. Focus. Okay. But yeah, today we're going to be doing a mascara first impressions. Um, I have not worn, like, a normal mascara without lashes in forever like weeks it has literally been weeks so we're gonna do it today um because i need a new mascara because the mascara i have now it's just it's too old it needs to be thrown away um but i've just been wearing it with my lashes so it's fine but i need a mascara because i don't want to wear lashes tomorrow because i'm going to have to get up early and i'm planning on sleeping in my makeup mm. All right, anyway, um, same as we always do. We're going to curl our lashes first off. Well, actually, no, we're going to talk about the mascara. I need to hurry, though. Literally, I need to hurry. All right, again, this is like the little tiny baby one. Tinsley, mommy's filming. Come on. This is like the tiny one, so it's actually going to be, the wand's obviously going to be like longer and everything if you buy the full size one. This is just the travel size. I apologize for Tinsley. She's being super duper annoying. This is just what the wand looks like. If you can see, it's just like a little squiggly thing. I'm excited to try it out. Lancome is like one of those brands I feel like that has been known for their mascara and in the past I've really liked their mascaras. I will say though a lot of people have been having issues with their mascara recently um, just because I feel like for so long they were on top of like the mascara chain you know what I mean like they were at the very tip top and then all of these other brands started you know getting better and like changing their formulas and everything and so now like other brands are like even with them and so people aren't noticing Lancome as much just for the simple fact that all other brands are just as good, you know what I mean? But I feel like they still end up going back to Lancome because they loved it for so long. Just working in Sephora and like talking to people about it, that's what I've noticed. People who have been like long time Lancome lovers um, have been trying out different mascaras and they have actually been liking them better. Um, so that's just what I've been noticing. But I've never tried this Hypnos Drama one. All right. Oh, that actually curled the lashes pretty well. <laughs> I haven't found an eyelash curler that I love, um, like my old one. My old baby, but it's fine. It's fine. All right. I'm going to move all my stuff so that I can... Uh... Oh, sorry. I keep moving the camera. Oh my gosh, I'm annoying myself so much in this video. I apologize if I'm annoying you. Okay, so now that this lash is all curled, those little blonde hairs... We're going to go in with our first coat of this mascara. Ooh. Ooh, baby. So far, I like it. I have my work Christmas party tonight. And I really need to have already left. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I slept on and off all day until 4 o'clock. So it's good. We're good. They'll understand. So far, I am digging it. Now I'm going to go in with, you know, the little, mm, 
the little wiggle through. First I was just coating them. I don't hate it right off the bat. I don't hate it. I'm thinking maybe it's not waterproof though because I can already see it starting to come down. I could have swore I bought the waterproof version though. Maybe not. All right, so that is the first little Cody coat. So now I'm gonna go in with the other eye and do the exact same thing. We are powering through this video right now. Usually I feel like these videos are so long and I have to like speed up like speed them up whenever I'm like curling the lashes and applying the mascara and everything. Um, but I'm trying to not have to do that. And I'm trying to talk while I'm curling the lashes and applying the mascara. So that way it's not super boring. I'm actually okay. I'm impressed with this lash curler. What is this lash curler? I don't know. This is the one I've been using, but since I've been using fake lashes, it, you know, I mean, you can't get, like, an accurate feel for it whenever you use fake lashes. Because, I mean, obviously it's going to curl your fake lashes. But, I actually kind of like the way it's curling my uh, natural lashes right now. I like it. I feel like it's not really adding, like, volume, though. And I thought that that's what this one was supposed to do. But I don't think it's adding any length either. I feel like it's really just coating my lashes. So. Does it do what it claims? I don't know. Right. That's one coat. Ooh, the lighting. That's one coat. I'm going to really quickly do my bottom lashes and then I'm going to go in with a second coat on my top. But I'm wondering how this brush will work on my bottom lashes. I'm going to do my bottom lashes off camera just because i got to get really, really close to the mirror in order to do them. So I'll be back. Alright, I don't like this wand as much for the bottom lashes because you will get it on like that little area area. But it's better than the Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara. Well, I was going to show you, but I don't know where it's at. But it's better than the Too Faced, better than Sex Mascara in the sense that that one is so large. But I feel like the wand isn't bad for the lower lash line compared to like the Too Faced, better than Sex one or the L'Oreal. You're 100% going to be able to hear Tinsley. She's literally right at my door barking her head off because Charles' dog is here. So you're 100% going to hear her. So... I apologize. Sorry. Had to apply a little bit of chapstick. Lips are a little chapped. But, okay, this is one coat on all of it. What do you guys think? I feel like this one's longer than this one. Which is weird because usually this is my good eye compared to this one. I don't know. Alright, I'm going to go in with the second coat on both of them. I'll probably speed up this process so it's not too long. Trolls is also blowing a duck hole. So I apologize. There's a lot going on in this video and I apologize for you guys. I apologize. But I'm going to do it off camera. So actually, I'm going to do it on camera, but I'm just going to speed it up so that this video isn't super duper long. All right, that definitely caused some clumping. But we have this. So that's two coats without brushing through them or anything. That definitely caused some clumping, but it definitely did add a little bit of volume. Again, this is not going to add length though. So if you're looking for something to add length, it ain't gonna do that, but then it's not gonna add a ton of volume either. So it's just basically a mascara, as of right now, as of right now. And I'm gonna go back and curl my lashes like I always do. I'm just going to wait for this to dry. So I will be right back. Okay, they are dry now. Brush here. <laughs> really, really, really quickly, I wanted to mention these Clinique um, Cheek Pop, like, blush pops. They're, it's like the Clinique blushes. I just bought this yesterday, 
uh, I can't remember who I was watching. I can't remember her name. Um, I have a picture of her in my head, but I can't remember her name. But I'll leave her video down below. And she was talking about how she really, really likes these. And so I picked one up. And this is in the shade Black Honey Pop. And I'm kind of obsessed. I only put like a light, light layer on today. But I'm kind of obsessed with them. Like, look at how pretty that is. And they're just, it's gorgeous. Anyway, moving on to this actual video, what this video is about. Side note, found my deodorant. So, we're all deodoranted. We're good. All right, so now I'm going to go in with my eyelash curler, and I'm just going to curl my lashes, and we'll see. A lot of people say don't curl your lashes after you've applied mascara because it can damage them, and that could be true. To be honest, it, it probably is. Like It, it probably is 100% true, but I have done it literally every day of my life since I've war since I've actually used an eyelash curler so I just don't do it when it's wet I wait till it's completely dry so yeah um because I know a lot of people comment sometimes and they're like you're actually not supposed to curl your lashes after you've applied mascara I technically know this but I do it anyway because I feel like it just doesn't look good unless I do it and I feel like it's not an issue as long as you wait for it to dry Okay, that one clumped real bad over there. That one's super duper clumpy. I don't know if you can see all the flakes all on my face. Right there. Um, okay. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> don't know. I'm going to go and curl up one more time because I did miss a couple little baby hairs over here. Okay, this side is definitely a lot more clumpier than this side. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and do my final results really quickly because I really, really need to leave. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to show you guys the lighting, I swear. This is what they look like. There are already flakes all over my face. It's already flaking off and I just applied it. But this is what it looks like up close and personal. To be honest, I'm going to go ahead and say I don't like it. And with saying that, it's not bad. It's totally not bad. But for the price of this, I'm definitely just going to... My chest is hiding so bad. Ugh. For the price of this mascara, I'm just going to go ahead and pass on it. Because I can get the same exact look with the Maybelline Stiletto Lash Mascara. But without the clumpiness. And without it already flaking off. So... I'm going to go ahead and pass on this, and I say you can get this exact same look, because honestly, this did not add any length, and it really didn't even add that much volume. It literally just really applied like a mascara, and it kind of clumped a little bit, whereas this one actually adds length, and so yeah, no. I would rather pass on this one and the prize and get this one for like 7 bucks at Walmart. So, that is my review of this mascara, my quick little first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I was like super duper annoying and all over the place. I apologize. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.